Okay, cool. Good morning. It's October 24th. I'm super excited. One week till Halloween. By the way, quick Halloween tip. Do not buy candy for trick-or-treating until it's actually trick-or-treat day. I used to think I was being like, you know, prepared, which I never have been prepared in anything else. So why be prepared in this one, right? To buy my candy a week or days, even one day ahead of time. And then we'd always pick out the ones that we like the most, right? And then we'd eat them all. So we decided to stop doing that. Candy is available everywhere at all times. So don't get nervous that it's going to be sold out, especially this year. And you can... um buy it literally an hour before trick or treat starts. I mean, like it's not that big of a deal. Um, the other thing is now I see a lot of people doing this. I'm not because I'm just not that type of mm, crafty mom, but a lot of people are setting up little cups because it, like it's the COVID style trick or treat and they have a table out and they're setting up little pre <laughs> setting up little pre paid or pre made cups. So that kids can just come up, say trick or treat, grab the cup and it's non-contact. So that's another thing. But here's the cool thing about that. If you do it that way, then, and that's like, it's like pre, um, separating all the candy so that you can't eat any of it. Right. It's already, it's already distributed. So you don't touch it. The other thing about candy is I'm going to tell you one more thing and then we'll move on. Um, Alana says this, and I'm so glad she did because I used to feel bad saying it. And I have said it, I have said many times, just throw it away after, just throw it away. If you have stuff left over, just throw it away. And I've had people yell at me and be like, donated, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So there's a couple things here. And Alana says this, and I love this. She says, better in the trash than in my belly. Right. Also, if I'm going to donate, something to a food bank or to people who are hurting and have no money, right? And need food. The last thing they need is candy. All right. So I'm going to go to the grocery store and get them real food, food that will sustain them and help them be healthy. Right. So keep that in mind. I know that's not, you know, it's a little controversial. People are like, oh, throwing away candy what about the people who don't have food then go buy them food all right don't give them the candy because it's not helping it's just not if you look at you know i've been to food pantries i've helped at food banks i've i've served food to the to the poor they like the stuff that people donate there there's like tables full of tasty cakes right donate some real food to them, throw away the candy. Anyway, yes, that you could disagree with me and you can argue with me about it. That's fine. But that's, that's my take on it. <laughs> I don't feel bad about throwing away candy. I really don't. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's, let's go, let's go with the topics at hand. So today we're going to talk a little bit about, um, Alana and, um, Autumn and the awesome resources we have from them. I mean, so true. So grab your chat and tell me something. Do you struggle most with nutrition or with working out? Grab your chat. Tell me. And if it's, uh, Jesse, I'm muting you, by the way. There we go. And if it's nutrition, give me some things. What are some things that you do struggle with when it comes to the nutrition, right? What is it? Is it um, not knowing what to choose? Is it not knowing what to do? Is it um, being in situations that you're not sure how to um, work around? Is it um, emotional eating? Is it you're not sure what to buy at the grocery store? You don't know what to prepare at home? Is it that you, or is it more so that you don't have the habits of those things? Habits of prepping food, habits of choosing the right thing in certain situations, those habits um, is it more so a habitual thing? Um, okay. So Melanie says nutrition, because I'm not a huge fan of veggies and I tend to stick with just a few, but I am trying that said nutrition, evening snacking on salty, fatty food or sugar, emotional eating. Okay, cool. These are good feedback. Um, before I get into that though, I got to tell you, we are starting a book 
club and we're doing it in November. Melanie just bought her book. I'm really excited about it. This is called the happiness advantage. I think this book is a really good one for November just to keep in, in this like gratitude theme for November and Thanksgiving. Um, if you've never read this book, it's very entertaining. Some of the stories are very entertaining, but there's a lot of takeaways that can help you and help you with others. Um, with your happiness, um, with just connecting with other people. Such a good book. It says how a positive brain fuels success in work and life. So it's not just how to be more positive. It's how to have that affect every area of your life, including work, including friendships, including marriage, including children, including really anything, any aspect of your life, right? It really connects the dots between being happy and and having people around you and connections around you. So it's really cool. The stories are great. I love the stories. So I highly recommend it. It's called The Happiness Advantage. It's by Sean Aker. We got to we got the privilege, if you came with us at Summit, which is our annual conference for Beachbody, um, we had the privilege of hearing Sean Aker, who has like top TEDx talks that are just viral. He came and spoke to us and he was so funny in like a dry kind of way. And those are my favorite people. And he, he just had me cracking up. I love the dry talk. Like he's a dry speaker. And then, and in the middle of him speaking, you'll be like, oh my God, did he just say that? It's just, he's hilarious. I love it. So not a ton of emotion, but then you pick up all these things that he said. It's just, I love, love, love hearing people like that. All right. So Courtney said nutrition because when I don't prep healthy foods ahead of time, I tend to get all my veggies, not get in all my veggies. Yes. So, okay. So one more thing about the book, buy it now because we're going to start reading it in November and every two weeks we'll get on a zoom call and just chat about it. And I'll have the schedule posted as to how many, like what pages I think there's, there's an event in both destiny United and in, um, better together. But if you're not in any of those groups, ask your coach and they'll give you the details. Okay. So, um, nutrition, we have some amazing resources that I feel like people either, they don't truly understand the benefit of them or, they think it's just an extra thing that they'll never do. And so they opt out or they cancel it. Um, but I'm, I'm here to tell you that the value of what you're receiving is worth thousands of dollars a month. Thousands. Listen, I've had people, I've had people say no to what we're doing. Like if I invite them into what we're doing because they're seeing a nutritionist, right? Or a trainer. But here's the thing. You're getting a nutritionist like 24-7 in here and one that's probably better than the one that you have. I'm not, I'm not downplaying anybody else, but I'm just saying these are top nutritionists in the country giving us information constantly, constantly. So here's the thing. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about because, oh my gosh, we're a share screen. There it is. Okay. Um, the questions that you guys are putting into the chat right now, the, the struggles that you're saying are answered in these monthly membership um, courses. So let me show you what I mean. So this is Beachbody On Demand. If we go to workouts, which I hate that it's in workouts, but whatever. No, wait, programs. There we go. Never mind. They changed it. It's in programs. And if you go to nutrition center, right here, there's a new nutrition center. There's the introduction to nutrition. So if you've never even gone into this before, that's where you're going to want to start. It's going to explain everything about your options that you have available to you. And I'm going to make this a little smaller so I can see it. Okay. So you have two nutrition programs to choose from to be mindset and ultimate portion fix. And you can click the, the play button there and learn more about it. And then it tells you a little bit more about them and it has introduction to the Shakeology and performance line, right? And it'll even tell you more here between the two just to help you decide which one you wanna start with. Now, don't get upset if you start one and realize that the other one's for you. They're both amazing programs. And, and the other thing is you can switch, but I also recommend that not switching too early. So do one of these programs for like two months, right? 
see how you're doing. Cause it takes a full month to like learn about it and to like learn how to implement it. And then another month to see if it's working that like, are you working it? Are you sticking to it? Right. I would even say maybe three months, um, but give yourself a good amount of time to, to figure it out. You can't just learn one and then, Oh, it's not for me. I'm going to the next one. Right. So another awesome resource is your coach. So talk with, to your coach about it and see which one they think might be best for you also. So that's a good spot to start with next in this little section. Sorry. All of my buttons are like covering this. So I can't see. There we go. Okay. So back to the nutrition center. So these two, the to be mindset and the ultimate portion fix, these are the actual courses, right? This is where you're going to start. When you go into it, you're going to start with video one and start there. You go under lessons, do video one, two, three, and you just go on and on and on, right? Until you learn the program. All of your program materials are here. You can print them out. It's all wonderful. Okay. Same thing with the ultimate portion fix. So that's where you're going to start. You're going to start with learning which one you want to start with. Then you're going to click into that one. You're going to start going through the, through the um, videos. Now, next, these are, I'm going to skip these real quick. <laughs> Those are the monthly things that I'm about to talk to you about. But skipping over here, there's also two cooking channels with videos, right? And in them, you can get some of the best recipes. If you're like stuck on not knowing what you should make for the week, the, look at them. They're gorgeous recipes. Absolutely amazing. This is the, my, um, the mindset menu, right? Look at them. Oh my gosh. They're so beautiful. Um, and then you can go over to the fixate one and learn all the, the fixate has been around longer. So there's way more recipes in it. This is the fixate cooking show. And that has way, way, way more recipes in it. Right. So that's good. Okay. Now the piece I want to tell you about, I'm going to go back to your questions or your, your comments. It says, <clears throat> I'm a huge fan of veggies and I tend to stick with just a few, but I'm trying. So answer to that one. First of all, you're trying. So that's awesome. That is huge. And it's a great mindset to have. I'm trying, right? Um, so instead of saying, I'm not a huge fan of veggies, maybe switch it up and just be like, I'm, I'm testing out new ways of loving veggies, <laughs> right? But in those those recipes that I just showed you, you're going to find tons of recipes for amazing vegetables. And they're going to have the best of the best in there. They're not going to share something that's disgusting, right? They're going to show you how to make veggies. I remember hating veggies, hating them until I started playing around with dis different recipes. And it sounds like you're doing the same. So that is huge and awesome. Okay. So there's one answer right there. Your, your concern is in the nutrition center. Beth says nutrition evening sacking on salty foods of sugar, um, and emotional eating. So let's go there in these in these mindset membership and the monthly fix, they actually go over those answers, right? So you can um, go in here. These are the monthly videos and they bring them out every month with different topics, right? So last month, is this last month or this month? I can't remember. Um, there's all these different topics, losing weight during menopause, doing losing weight during PMS, um, to be mindset during pregnancy while, uh, losing weight during breastfeeding and postpartum. Now here's other pieces. I think this is from two months ago, managing physical hunger, identifying and man managing mind hunger. That's a really big one. Identifying and managing sense hugger, hunger, identifying and managing emotional hunger, identifying and managing sleep deprived hunger. All of these are part of emotional eating. And that is a huge piece of that late night snacking and emotional eating, right? So the answers are right there. These are short eight minutes, five minutes, six minutes, and they're by the top of the top nutritionists, Alana Molstein, right? You can learn so much through these. And if you, for example, have a topic that's that you're just not sure where to find it, you can put it right here. Look, recent searches, snacking. Um, let's see what that says. I don't know where it's going to take us. Look at this. Snacking. It gives us these different videos from Alana. You have to be 
um, you have to be in the membership. So you have to have a nutrition plus membership to watch those videos because they're in the mindset membership, but they have your answer right there. The cool thing is you get both. You get ultimate portion fix. You get the fit monthly fix. So you get autumn sharing her tips and you get Alana sharing their tips, all of those recipes and everything for only 1995 a month. And if you're a coach, it's only like 1595 a month. So it's so valuable versus spending thousands of dollars with a nutritionist who's going to tell you the same information, if not less. Okay. So I'm telling you now, you don't see your nutritionist as much. You don't have as much education through your nutritionist because there's hours and hours and hours of information here and you're paying top money. Now let's say you have a nutritionist already, you love them and your insurance is paying for them. So like win, 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 right? It's still only 1595 to have the accountability piece and answers right away because you don't see your nutritionist every day, right? So it's an awesome supplement for what you're already doing. So when people opt out of this, I'm like, Oh, are you sure you really want to? Because this is an amazing value and such a great resource. And yes, Patty said it's at our fingertips. So you can have your phone. That's the other thing I want to show you. You can have your phone. You can open it up beach body on demand, and you can go right into the programs and you can go right into the nutrition center right there. And you have your programs or, you know, the two, um, programs, then right here, you have the monthly ones. And then right there, you have your cooking shows. So, so, so convenient, so convenient. Um, now I haven't tried yet. I haven't tried searching, but now the app has the search option mm, up at the top. So I'm going to search snacking again and see what comes up when I click, when I put in there snacking, Yes. So they're snacking in workouts. I don't understand that. One. You'd have to click it and see snacking in lessons, snacking in recipes and snacking in six others. So let's go to lessons. And what does it do? It brings up all the things you could be watching to help. So there's a one-on-one -on -one with Alana. So she must've been talking about snacking a lot in that. And the one-on-ones are amazing because you can see how she coaches people through their situations. There's another video here, bust a plateau with played it, right? Talking about FFCs. There's a fitting to be mindset into your busy life video. Um, and then it's also an audio. So if you're like driving and you don't want to be distracted with the video piece, you can put on the audio piece. So there, your answers are right there. So let's look at the next person it said nutrition, um, because I don't prep healthy foods ahead of time. I tend to get, not get all my veggies in great one. Okay. So in, um, I like to look at, let me see if I can pull it up. I like to look at, um, autumn Calibri's in her programs, she has a whole video about prepping foods and how simple it can be. Another thing is you can also go in here and put in prep. Let's try food prep. Let's see what happens. Food prep, right? We got workouts, lessons, recipes, recipes is big. Let's go to lessons. Here's some food prep things. Make over your mindset. Alana gives great ones also for food prep. Um, I think also if you go into the blog, which is right here. So where I just went, I'm in Beachbody On Demand. I go here, I go to blog and I can put in food prep. You might want to put in meal prep too. That might help also. Here we go amazing ways and meal plans for prepping your food. And in those meal plans, like this one, 1500 to 1800 calorie bracket for fixate, it's going to show you the different recipes that they use, which are going to include vegetables. And so <clears throat> here's another one, easy meal prep for 21 day fix meal plan a, I mean, really, honestly, you have all of your answers right here. Base, uh, plant-based meal prep for that calorie level. Uh, just just a ton healthy lunch recipes to meal prep, how to meal prep on a budget. Now 
you know, because of the source, you're going to beach body, you know, that your vegetables are going to be a huge piece of this. It's not like you're going on to um, Google and just saying food prep for the week. And just hopefully they'll have awesome vegetables in there. You just, you really don't know, but you do know with beach body that if they're having you prep food, there's going to be vegetables in there and you're going to know how to do it quickly, efficiently with the right foods. Right. Okay. So let's, that's a great one, Courtney. I love that question. Okay. Colleen says my hubs tends to do the grocery shopping without my knowing LOL snacking veggies don't always make the cut. So Colleen, something awesome that you can do is hop on Friday with Kaylee. And if you can't watch the recording, but take initiative and do your own shopping online. If you're not the one going to the grocery store and you know, he's going to be forgetting things either a make the list ahead of time and give it to him. But if still that's not like reliable, then do your grocery shopping online and have them deliver it so that, you know, you're having the right veggies there. You just have to you have to take initiative and not like all of us, we have to take initiative and not blame other people for the things that like, I Mm -hmm. tend to blame my husband when I'm on track with my nutrition or want to be. And he's like, Ashley, do you want to go get dinner? I literally yell at him because his just asking me makes me break down. Right. (laughs) And then I accuse him for asking me which isn't right. Like that's not right of me. I need to just take my own, my own health into my hands. It's no one else's responsibility. So I need to make sure that if I, if I'm not doing the one who's grocery shopping, if I'm not doing that, but I still want the foods at my house and I can't rely on somebody else for doing it, then I need to get online. We have so many resources. I need to get online and order the food myself and just have it delivered. Right have it delivered. It's not a lot of time. And then here's the cool thing about ordering groceries online. Once you do it once, it's already in there. So we tend to buy the same foods over and over again, just because of what we like, what we're used to. But once we, like I, I go on whole foods and I shop once I'm there, once I've gone there a couple of times and I go online, it just tells me, Hey, do you want these carrots again? Do you want these tomatoes again? Do you, and they're always like the ones that I like. So it takes even less time after you do it once or twice. I mean, a lot less time, right? So that's something, and and it comes so soon. It comes like either that day or the next day. So we need to take that into consideration um, and try not to blame other people, even though it's really easy and convenient because <laughs> I do it all the time, but we gotta, we gotta take it into our own hands. Right. And there's so many resources. Ooh, look at that. How to get over food guilt. Okay. I'm getting distracted. So any other things that we want that we have questions about nutrition or like things that are, um, giving us, some. Um, like a struggle that we have with nutrition. I want to close this out. Okay. And I want to go back to, where do I want to go? Oh yeah. Beach body on demand. And I want to show that one more time. Okay. So here's the nutrition center. Not there. <laughs> it's still updating <laughs> the nutrition center. You click programs and then it's under programs. Am I there yet? No. Oh, it's because I made it smaller. Okay, here we go. You go into programs and then you go to nutrition center and then you hear your first two programs, but these are the monthly ones. The monthly ones are so amazing. You also get recipes for the month before they ever go into. So they're like seasonal recipes before they ever go into the actual cooking show like this pumpkin protein crepe style pancakes. A yum right? Lasagna mushroom caps with spaghetti, uh, spaghetti squash. Heck yes. Right. So all of these amazing, amazing, um, what high protein whole wheat bagels. That sounds amazing. Okay. So all of these amazing recipes right here in the monthly my membership. So when you pay that one fee every month, it gives you both the monthly membership or the mindset membership and the monthly fix. So the other thing I wanted to tell you, I'm going to close this down. The other thing I wanted to tell you is our good friend, um, Lynette, who's struggling right now and in the hospital. So say a prayer for her, but she has lost a ton of weight over the last couple months and she's only following uh, to be mindset, but she still watches all the videos from autumn in the monthly fix. 
they're so useful. Hearing from two experts is not a bad thing at all. And you can take away stuff from both of them because it's really the habits that we need help with, right? And they're constantly reminding us on how to make those habits in our life easier to create, right? They're constantly reminding us how to create those habits in an easier way. And us by us leaning in and listening to that every month, it's going to become quicker. Like it's, we're going to get into those habits quicker because we're constantly having a reminder, right? And so listen to that information as much as you possibly can. If you're highly di distracted by other worldly things going on right now, then commit to it in a week and a half, right? <laughs> you got this, right? D 10 days. <laughs> You got this. You could actually, honestly, just do it now. Those other things really don't make it, it. Nothing's changing your mind. You are where you are. Make your decision. Move on to the next thing and take care of your health because winter is coming, right? Winter is coming. You want to be in the best health as you can before the winter comes. You want to be boosting that immune immune system with your health, with your food and your nutrition and, and bringing in the best things for your body, right? It's also going to help you with other things. Like I personally get lethar not lethargic, but very tired, grouchy, moody over the winter, right? Anytime the sun starts going down early, I, I just tend to get super tired early, right? And it leads to other problems. It leads to anxiety. It leads to depression. But if you're putting in good fuel into your body, the right nutrition and you're getting into habits so it's not such a struggle then it's going to help you through those tough times like for me winter and the sun going down early right so i highly recommend getting on the train the membership train it's only 1595 if you're a coach which i highly recommend doing even if you don't want to coach like us just get the coach account or 1995 which is still incredibly worth it and you get all of these amazing resources. So I hope I hope somebody gets something out of this because I really truly believe it's an underutilized, um, undervalued item. Like I think it's so much for what you're what you're pay paying. You're getting so much amazing value. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you on that. Uh, next week we should have somebody on here to be interviewing with a with a. Um, transformation. I love that. I love talking to people and it'll be Halloween. So come with like a hat or something, <laughs> a witch hat or some cute costume that you don't need to take a lot of time making. All right. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Happy Saturday. Bye.